hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In today's video, we're going to be covering my plan for lifestyle trading. But before we begin, I just want to say I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This content is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now let's get into the video. So with this plan for lifestyle trading, I'm going to be using the wheel strategy to trade options and then use that profit to make monthly payments on some particular item that I plan on purchasing. So if you want more information about the wheel strategy, then I'll leave a link down in the description. So here's just a brief overview of how I envision this plan to work. But the main goal is to either pay off or purchase an item with minimal effect on my monthly budget. Now I can either pay off something, I can purchase something, or I can uh, make a savings goal for some future event. And to do this, I plan on using two loans. The first is going to be a purchase loan, and I will highlight it in yellow just so we can follow it a little bit easier. And this loan is to actually purchase the particular item. The second loan is a trading loan, and I'm gonna split that into two parts. And the trading loan will be denoted in the color green. So the trading loan is gonna be split, first of all, um, into a smaller portion, and that is going to be used to pay interest-only payments back to the trading loan. The larger portion of the trading loan is gonna be used to trade the wheel strategy to generate the cash needed to pay back the purchase loan. So again, if you want more information about what this wheel strategy is, then go ahead and uh, click the link in the description. Of course, at the end of uh, the lifetime of the both the purchase loan and the trading loan, there's going to still be some balance left on the trading loan, as we'll see, and I'll be using the money from my budget to pay off that trading loan and have all these particular loans closed. So here's what it would look like as a flowchart. We have the purchase loan and we have the trading loan. Now the purchase loan is going to be used to purchase the item. And this item can either be a physical item um, or it can be a savings goal. It can be a variety of things, but it's basically gonna be some type of purchase that's large enough to require an actual loan to purchase. Um, the trading loan then is going to be split into two parts, one part larger, one part smaller. The smaller part is going to be used to make interest only payments to pay off the uh, trading loan, or at least to make interest only payments to the trading loan. The larger portion of the trading loan will then be used to generate income from the wheel strategy. Now the wheel strategy is an option selling strategy that will generate cash and that cash should be enough to pay the monthly payments back to the purchase loan. After I make all the monthly payments back to the purchase loan and the purchase loan is closed, I'm going to take that money out of the wheel strategy and use it to close the trading loan. However, there's still going to be a deficit because a portion of it was actually used to make interest only payments. So I'm going to need some money from my budget to help close off that trading loan. And by this time, both the purchase loan and the trading loan are completely closed and I would have purchased the item with this small amount from my monthly budget. Now, of course, there are a few ways to purchase this particular item down here. I could have the cash in my personal account and just buy it, um, but obviously that would take a lot of cash out of my account. I could take a loan, the purchase loan, for example, and just make these monthly payments from my budget. But then again, that would cost me monthly payments. And I, what I'm trying to do with this particular strategy is have a minimal effect on my budget. So I can either buy it outright, which is a lot of cash, I can make payments to a loan to buy it. But again, these are all going to be more costly on my monthly budget, so I'm trying to get around that. So what I plan to do is basically use an asset, the wheel strategy, this options trading strategy, to generate the income to pay off the loan. So at the end of all of these payments and all of these loans being closed out, I will be purchasing my item, whatever it is, for a small amount coming out of my monthly budget. And if all goes to plan, this will roughly equate to a 90% discount in purchasing this item. Now again, I'm calling these um, a purchase loan and a trading loan. They don't actually have to be a loan. It can actually just be a 
pile of cash that you've been saving. It could be from a savings account, it could be from you know whatever money you have, but it's some amount that you're using to purchase a you know a more costly item. And it's some amount here that you're gonna be using to trade options with to generate the income to pay off that item. So I'm just using the word in the term loan here because that's the first thing I thought of um, is what I would be using for right now, but it doesn't have to be a loan. Now, this item can be a number of things. Again, this item could actually be a physical item or it could be a savings goal. If I wanted to save a certain amount of money and I wanted to make monthly payments into that savings account, that would be my purchase loan payments. Payments to myself to save up for a particular uh, goal. So let's look at an example, just put some numbers to it. So purchase loan for $5,000 and the terms would be five years with four and a half percent interest. And if we put that into a loan calculator, the monthly payments would equal $93.22. In order to get that money, the $93.22 per month that we need, um, I would need to take a trading loan of $2,200 and then I need to split it into two sections. First of all, $429. What this does is it covers 60 months of interest only payments. That would be $7.15 per month. The next part uh, is $2,200 minus $429. That leaves us with $1,771. Now this would generate $106.26 a month and the, the way that I came up with that 106.26 is my goal for the wheel strategy is to make 6% per month. While that may sound like a lofty goal, I believe it is fully attainable. So at 6% per month, this would give me $106.26 if I had $1,771 to trade with. Now of this 106.26, I'm going to be splitting it up into a couple of um, different payments. So first of all, $93.22. What this is going to do is it's going to generate these payments back to the purchase loan. The next portion is going to be $11 and this is going to be uh, tithe going back to my church. Now, some people, when they tithe off of their trading profits, they do it in a few different ways. Um, this is the way that I chose to do it. I know some may choose to do it at the end of the year when they get their statements back. I choose to do it as soon as I pull money out of my brokerage account into my personal bank account. That's when I pay my 10% tithe. So $106.26, I'm just rounding that up to $110. 10% of that would be $11. That leaves $2.34 in extra uh, income. And I'll be using that later on, either for extra payments or to set aside for um, taxes or payment deficits that I may incur. Now, when I close out these loans, I'm gonna need to take some money from my budget. So ideally, the wheel is gonna generate enough income to make payments to the purchase loan back. And I'll eventually close that out after five years. After 60 months, I'll be able to close the purchase loan out. But I still need to close out this trading loan. And I'm going to be taking the $1,771 and put it back to my trading loan. But I'm still gonna be short $429. I'm short $429 because I used $429 to make the interest only payments. So I need to take the $429 from my budget and also put it back to the trading loan and close that out. So I will be ideally purchasing this $5,000 item for only $429. So over a 90% discount if all goes according to plan. So here are a few caveats that I see with this particular trading plan, and they may be obvious to you as well. But first of all, this doesn't take into account the short term capital gains taxes that I will be incurring. So I need to keep that in mind. I need to save some money for taxes. It also assumes that I will be making 6% Per month using the wheel strategy. Now I may make less, I may make more, but I have to keep that in mind that this plan assumes 6% returns. But in both cases, what I plan to do is use the excess returns for taxes and for any type of payment deficits that I might have in lower return months. And I also will use my personal budget for taxes and any payment deficits that may 
arise. So I do have plans for this particular strategy if things don't go according to the way I envision them. And basically that is use money out of my personal budget. So let's go back here and look at the whole setup once again. Purchase loan and trading loan. Purchase loan buys the item. Trading loan is split. Part of it makes interest only payments. The other part uses the wheel strategy to trade and it will generate the cash to make the payments for the purchase loan. As soon as the purchase loan is paid off and is complete, I'll close the trading loan using money from the wheel strategy as well as any deficits coming out of my personal budget. Now, I do want to mention that the item that I'm going to be purchasing or the cash goal that I'm going to be working towards is not going to be so extravagant where I simply can't make the monthly payments on the purchase loan. Um, I'm going to ensure that when I make this purchase loan that I will have enough money from my budget to actually make these monthly payments in case the wheel strategy doesn't go according to plan. But I'm trying this out because I think if everything works out well, I will be able to purchase this item or save for the savings goal at a fraction of the cost of what it would do if I were simply to take money out of my personal budget and try to buy this item. So if you have any questions about this topic, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll answer it as quickly as possible. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about the wheel strategy or keep up to date on the progress of using this lifestyle trading plan for different purchases, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you can catch all the updates. Until next time, trade wisely and take care.